What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. I know I've been busy. I know. It's been tough. You know, I have my own business that I'm running. It's doing really well. And then I have a secondary job. Well, I guess it was my previous main job I've been at for five years. And so between the two and juggling my family, it's been really, really tough to spend as much time on YouTube or, you know, streaming and things like that. But I still love video games. And so when, when interesting things come around, and I want to talk about it, I'm going to be here to do that. And today is one of those times. Today I want to talk about God of War. God of War is uh, doing incredibly well right now. And uh, I think it's warranted. I think it's a special kind of game. I've been playing it since its launch. I've been, I started playing it launch night. I still haven't beat it uh, because, I'm, I, like I said, I have time restraints. And so I don't have a ton of time to just sit around and, and game you know, all day long like I used to. But, you know, with, with with great power comes great responsibility. Let's just say it that way. I want to talk to you guys about this game. God of War has been uh, a real special experience for me. As someone who thought that the God of War story and Kratos was something that I didn't need to see anymore. You know, after God of War 3 and God of War Ascension, I thought, yeah, this, this has kind of run its course. This character is a hollowed shell. Uh, and we've seen, you know, we've seen the lengths that they'll go with this character as far as it as his overall emotional uh, stratosphere this guy basically is a one note kind of uh, character that shows extreme anger and emotion and isn't really capable of much more of course in every God of War game it had some of the best visuals for the time always scantily clad women usually Kratos fornicating with a couple of them you know that was never a bad thing and so I was thinking you know this God of War, up until I saw the, the actual trailer, the reveal of the, the new God of War, I was thinking that, you know, it was something I wouldn't want to visit. God of War has been one of the, the most special experiences for me uh, as a gamer. One of the more special ones I've had in a long time. It, it, it's to me what feels like, and people will say, no, it's not, but it feels like a perfect game. And that's a weird thing to say because I don't think a human being is perfect enough to recognize perfection. But to me, it feels like something special that you don't see. You know, every aspect of this game seems to have a, 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 an amount of polish that, you know, Rockstar or Naughty Dog would envy. They just put so much work into every aspect of this game. The voice acting, the animation, the world building, the, the, the actual landscape, the story, the characters... You know, the, the the huge amount of, you know, things that you could do in the game. The, the gameplay curve is just unreal. After about, you know, eight hours into the game, you, you get something that just kind of knocked my socks off. It took me back in the past, and I just felt like I couldn't ask for much more <laughs> out of this game. And like I said, I haven't beat the game, but I'm probably about uh, 20 hours in. You know, Kate and I have been rummaging through it together and really enjoying it, you know, as we've had time. But it's awesome. And so I, I came across an article and I read this article and it kind of exemplified the way that I feel about the game. And so I wanted to share with you guys it's on one of my favorite websites, Forbes.com, because I like talking about money and thinking about money. You know, I got five kids. That's all I can think about. But this article, I'll drop a link in the description and I think it's going to be pretty interesting. God of War sells 3.1 million copies in three days is PlayStation 4's fastest selling exclusive by a mile. Kratos may be old, but he and his franchise are very far from dead. In the wake of a flood of rave reviews, God of War has sold an astonishing amount of copies at launch. 3.1 million in just three days, according to a new Sony blog post. That makes it the fastest selling PS4 exclusive this generation besting the likes of Uncharted 4, which sold 2.7 million in a week, Horizon Zero Dawn with 2.6 million in two weeks, and The Last of Us on PlayStation 3, selling 3.4 million in three weeks. While God of War certainly would have sold well regardless, this does seem like one of the instances where perfect scores and gushing reviews help amplify the sales to a degree we haven't seen in this generation to date. The game is truly incredible. And as I've said, not just a potential game of the year contender, but a possible game of all time contender as well. 
and deserves to be in the same conversation as other story-based classics from Mass Effect 2 to The Witcher 3. Sony Santa Monica Studios head Shannon Studstill, that's an awesome name, had this sentiment to share along with the sales announcement. Quote, I would like to personally thank the millions of fans around the world who decided to embark on Kratos' latest adventure with us. Your support is truly inspiring, and it's a reason why we push ourselves every day to go beyond the boundaries of play. I'd also like to thank our creative director, Corey Barlog, and the director of product development, Yumi Yang, and our entire amazing team at Santa Monica Studio. The belief in the game's vision and the passion for storytelling across the team is undeniable. We look forward to hearing more about how fans are creating new memories of their favorite God of War gameplay moments that will be remembered for a long time." End quote. Creative director Corey Barlog recently made headlines when on a Kotaku podcast he said that he had ideas in his head for five more games, presumably two more Norse games and a new trilogy with a different set of gods. While five games may be a far-flung plan, with these kinds of sales, more Norse sequels are clearly inevitable, and given that hopefully a lot of heavy lifting has been done in the last five years, the new engine and new combat systems, we will have to wait for five more years for another game. I would not be surprised to see God of War going to be one of the best-selling PlayStation exclusives in brand history, given, given that it's a must-own for almost anyone with a PlayStation 4. With 3 million sales and 75 million PS4s sold to date, that's a 4% attach rate in the first three days alone. And that will inevitably continue to climb as more and more people discover how amazing the game is. It's literally a Mario Kart or a Breath of the Wild for Sony. As in, if you own a PS4, you should own God of War. And the Beach of the Gamer 100% concurs with that, that statement. If you have a PS4 and you don't have God of War, you are missing out on some of the best gaming you could possibly have on that console. There's really, there's a lot of great games on PS4, but God of War is up there at the top, in my opinion. Continuing on, even with these enormous numbers, God of War is still shy of something like Grand Theft Auto V, which sold 11 million copies on day one. But GTA V is, is in its own stratosphere plane, now arguably the best-selling game in history, depending on how you look at its rivals like Minecraft and Tetris. God of War is the feel-good release of the year. And I don't mean just because of its compelling in-game story, it's a miracle of production. A team working endlessly to recreate a series that most had assumed had run out of gas and managing to produce an all-time great title that seems poised to continue to set PlayStation records. If you own a PS4 by God of War, you won't regret it. Uh, yeah. I 100% agree with this article. And to me, this kind of puts the exclamation point on the point that I was making during the Revolver Live podcast uh, last week, I think that ex we had a, a discussion, and, and one of the questions was, should exclusives be banned? This question was uh, raised by Gary Diaz, the great, great Gary Diaz. And um, I, I thought that, you know, it's a crazy proposition, and I think that, you know, uh, exclusives have their place, just like every other facet of life. You know, everything has their exclusives. Starbucks has exclusives. You know, they have lattes you can only get at Starbucks. It makes people come to Starbucks for that latte. Yeah, you can go to Dunkin' Donuts if you want, but if you want the Starbucks flavor, you're going to go to Starbucks. Every restaurant has exclusives. And Sony and Microsoft, they are PlayStation and Xbox, but they also have their own studios like Sony Santa Monica which created God of War, which makes God of War a PlayStation exclusive flavor. And I know there are some people out there who say, well, it doesn't run at the frames I'd like it to run at. Well, that's not what they made it for. They made it for PlayStation. I wanted to play, you know, use my 1080 Ti to, to run this game. Why can't I play it on it? Because some things you just can't have. Some things you just, you can whine and cry about it, but some things you're just not going to get. You know, you're not going to be able to put Cadillac parts inside of a Mercedes because they don't they, they are not the same thing. They don't work together. It just doesn't work that way. And so, to me, seeing a game like God of War reach this 
this level of sales within just and it's the game's been out for a while now. In the first three days, it's three point one million, so you can only imagine where it's at now. But to see this, to me, this exemplifies why exclusives exist. If Microsoft wants to push their Xbox brand, they need to have exclusives that people can only play on Xbox. I think that the play anywhere strategy, while it seems nice and fancy, you know, I'm playing Sea of Thieves on my, P my PC, wow, thanks. But if it was only on the Xbox, those Xboxes would sell. Many people have PCs, you know, many people have a computer they can play games on, but PlayStation is less less apt to do that, and I think that that's why the PlayStation 4 is the king of this generation. You guys let me know what you think about this topic. There's a lot to answer to. Do you think that exclusives should be banned? Do you think that exclusives have their place? Are you playing God of War, which is one of the greatest games ever? I mean, honestly, guys, if you're not playing this game and you have a PS4, you need to find a way to play it because it's really that good. The story is amazing. The game looks possibly the best looking game I've ever seen in my life. And you know, of course the voice acting is top notch. The animation is just unbelievable. The story is sick. You know, and the world building is just unreal. The, the sense of scale. God of War is kind of known for that, but you wouldn't expect it with this new perspective to have this sense of scale with some of the things that happen in this game. It's just truly breathtaking. One of the best experiences I've, I've played in a very long time. And Paul Tassi, the contributor of this article, played it. And he obviously felt the same way as I do. It's just an unreal, unbelievable experience. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Is God of War as good as they say? Is it? Are people hyping it up too much? Have you played it? And are you seeing faults in it? I know some people who I respect uh, played the game and, and don't think it's as good as some others. But I'm curious as to what you guys think. So let me know in the comments below. God of War, yay or nay, are you playing it? Is it as good as they say? And what do you think about exclusives? Should they exist? Are you happy that they exist? Let me know. Be sure to give a thumbs up, guys. I know I haven't asked in a while, but those thumbs up do help my channel. It keeps me alive. So hit that thumbs up. Show me that you love me because I love you all. And as always, I thank you guys so much for hanging out with the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.